Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on ASP.NET 4.5 for students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn ASP.NET. This is part 14 in this series entitled Navigation Using Sitemap in ASP.NET 4.5 Using C Sharp. This is one of the most interesting parts in this tutorial because we are going to create and apply CSS, master page, XML, sitemap, sitemap data store, and navigation components all in one activity. So let's get started. A sitemap is a navigation system. It is helpful when there are a number of pages that branch like a hierarchy. It makes a website's navigation structure organized. Let's look at the sitemap example. Notice that it begins with the sitemap element. Second, each page is represented by a sitemap node element. And third, it is possible that a sitemap node element can contain one or more sitemap node elements. For activity number 14, we will create an ASP.NET website and place it in CASP activity 14. Then we will create a CSS style sheet with ID selectors of page, header, sidebar, and content. We will make the settings as we please. Then we will create a master page and apply the style sheet to it. Then we will create a sitemap similar to the figure below. Home, about the library, has two node elements, library collection has three node elements. Take note that in this activity, we're going to create one, two, three, four, five, six web forms. Let's create our website, file new website, and we'll place it in activity 14. Okay. Let's create our style sheet and we'll start with the folder called styles. Inside it, we're going to create the style sheet. There is a shortcut. Style sheets. So let's start with the page. We're only going to set here the width, which is 900 pixels. Then we'll continue with the header. For our header, we will set the height. Let's make it 80 pixels. Then the text alignment should be center. Okay. Then the font size. I think we are making it 30 pixels. And we'll set the background color to this time aquamarine. There, aquamarine. Okay, next is for the sidebar. Now, let's position it using absolute. Okay. Then we'll have it start on the left with 10 pixels. And on top, there's already 80. So we'll position it a little below like 100 pixels. Uh, below the header and then let's still make the width 160 pixels and the background color same background color we'll make it aquamarine okay it's for the sidebar and then the content last the content will contain the possession also we'll make it absolute and left, there's already 160 and 10 uh, for the sidebar. This is 10 plus 160, 170. Uh, let's put just 10 more. So make it 180 pixels. Okay. And then top, also, it should be below the header. So 100 pixels also. Okay, we're done with our style sheet. Next is that we're going to create a master page. Add, add new item. Let's look for the master page there. Add. So in the master page, we're going to add all our selectors. Let's start with the page. ID is equal to page. Then inside the page, we're going to add, uh, let's start with, uh, let's continue with the header. ID is equal to header. Correct. Let's put CCSID library online. Okay. Then another div. This time for the sidebar. Let's 
three sidebar and last is it the last yes for the content id is equal to content and the closing should not be here because we're going to include the content placeholder so it should be here just put some tab for the content holder okay kalas the next thing we're going to do is to create, create the sitemap right click again add add new item then look for the sitemap folder uh, sorry sitemap object there sitemap add so here we'll start with the url default you start you you put uh, this tilt and slash to signify that we are looking at the, the root directory so this is default aspx this is for the home page set the title to home and the description also home the first site mo sitemap node is about the library there is no URL for this one. So we'll delete this one. This is about the library. The description is, let's see, rules and history. Okay. Now, since this one will contain some other sitemap nodes, we will delete this one. Okay. The ending for that is this one. Slash site map node. Correct, correct. Then inside this site map node, we will put two others. Control X. So just put this one. The first one is for the history. Let's call it history. That ASPX. The title is history, and the description is same history. Okay, next is the rules. Change this to rules. This also to rules, and this also to rules. Okay, so this is a sitemap node with two other sitemap nodes. We'll copy it for our uh, three other sites. Uh, this one is for the library collection. Library collection. Description is it will be about books. CDs, DVDs, and magazines. Correct. The first one is about the books. It's about the books. It's about the books. Okay, next is it's so easy. Maybe some of you will feel bored sometimes. CDs and DVDs, but I hope not. So these are about CDs and DVDs. Okay, let's add one more for the magazines. 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 magazines okay we finish our sitemap node let's save it okay so to continue we'll go back to our page master let's go to design view go to data under data in the toolbox you will see the sitemap data source oh we have not yet uh, applied our style in the master page so click it, drag it okay there it is then under the data uh, the sitemap data source there okay now you can see it but during runtime you it will be invisible 
Okay, next is you go down to navigation and you will see there our uh, components. Uh, let's start first with the tree view. So let's put this. Okay, I'll press enter after this word and it'll put there the tree view. Okay, for the data source, it's a sitemap data source when okay there it is now it's time to create our six web pages using our master page add uh, web add new item web form now make sure that you select the master page the first one is for the default that's home okay so this is the home page Correct. Now let's create the second one. Add a new item. This time it's for the history. Make sure you select master pages check. Add add. This is the history page. Okay. Let's make the third one. Add new item. It's for the rules. This is the rules page. Let's add another one. This time it's for the books. This is the books page. Another one. Add web form. Sorry. Add a new item, web form CDs. This is the CDs and DVDs page. And last, add new item, magazines. Enter, enter. This is the magazines page. Okay, I think we're done. Let's go to our default. Default ASPX and let's run it in our browser. There. This is the home page. History, rules, books, CDs, magazines. You can also minimize this nodes okay good i think we still have time for this activity so we will reverse our current website by adding a sitemap path on top of the tree view to do that we have to go back to our master page and then we'll include it here in the middle so go back to navigation and there you can see sitemap path drag it in the middle okay uh, that's it <laughs> Very easy. Now let's go back to the default and look at it in the browser. If we go to the history, there it is. About the library history. That's a sitemap path. We got the books, library collection books. Correct. Well, congratulations. We just finished discussing sitemap in ASP.NET. The menu is just a, a simple replacement of the tree view, so you can also do that. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.